What's going on YouTube? Hey, it's Ben. You already know this is the channel where we talk about recruitment, staffing, business, entrepreneurship, investing, pretty much every single one of those topics. If you like that kind of stuff, you should definitely become a subscriber by hitting the subscribe button right now. I would really appreciate it. And let's dive right into today's topic, which is basically starting a recruiting agency versus any other online business in 2019 and what that field looks like. So pretty much the goal of this video is I just kind of wanted to lay out what the field looks like overall for online businesses in 2019 and what you should get into, what you should start and how you should actually approach that. So clearly I'm in the recruiting business. I run my own recruiting agency solo. If you're not a subscriber, maybe you don't know that, but now you do. Um, basically what I do is I find candidates for clients and I run my own recruiting firm and I make money that way online. If it's no secret, there are people making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars pretty much online, simply from their laptops these days in 2019. And there's tons of ways to do it. Like there's literally hundreds. So just to give you an idea, um, you can start a Shopify store. You can get on Etsy. Uh, you can do Amazon FBA. Um, you can sell on eBay if it still has a pulse. I'm not sure if eBay is still alive. But uh, you could do private consulting. You could pretty much freelance anything like website design or um, you know designing graphics for people and stuff like that on sites like uh, Fiverr or whatever it might be. Um, and the list goes on. There's digital marketing and you know it's just like like there's a billion different things out there that you can do to make a ton of money online. And so the field is wide and large and there's plenty of clientele for the taking. Um, and so business online in 2019 is good. The state of business um, is very, very good. People are making a ton of money and there's lots of opportunity out there. So overall, how do you pick like what you want to do? How do you actually decide which which way you want, which route you want to take, um, you know, where you want to start investing your time, your energy, and what you want to get into. Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you don't fall victim to shiny ball syndrome. So shiny ball syndrome, if you don't know, is where you're basically starting to work on something, a project, a business, whatever, and you see something kind of cool in the distance and it comes up and it's like, wow, maybe I should get my real estate license at the same time too. And then you start following that pathway and then you're like, oh, whoa, the stock market, like I have like, you know, a couple hundred bucks, I think I might start, you know, day trading stocks, and then you get into something like that. And you sooner or later are into like four or five different things that are all sucking your energy. And they're all basically wasting all of your time from one main thing that could absolutely kill it if you had all your focus on it. So don't fall victim to shiny ball syndrome. That's the absolute number one thing I would say. Um, the second thing I would say is that you need to focus in on your strengths. So we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses. That's just human nature. Everyone is strong and talented at something. I don't care who you are. And everyone is weak and could do better in other areas, right? And usually as a person, you know, if we look deep inside and we let our ego, you know, kind of sit down for a minute, we know exactly what that strength is and what that weakness is. Now, the idea is to double down on your strengths and completely forget about your weaknesses because the weaknesses ultimately don't matter. You just need to know what your strengths are and double down on those and that's where you find success. So basically figure out what your strengths are, figure out what your weaknesses are, double down on the strengths and make sure you know exactly, you know, what you're strong minded in, what you're knowledgeable about, um, you know, what you're good at, right? What you've done before, what you've had success before in um, and a lot of the time it's really, really easy to do. Sometimes it might take you a little bit to kind of like feel it out and figure it out and think it through, right? Because might, you might think that you're really good at something, but it might take you, you know, a little bit to kind of like try that out and then realize, ah, I'm really not good at that at all, right? So, um, you know, you might start a Shopify store and then you realize, man, I can't fulfill orders. Like, I don't know how to do this stuff, like whatever. Or you might get on Etsy and you might be like, ah, I can't compete with this competition and I can't like, you know, figure out how to get ahead of the rat race and stuff like that. So you figure out your strengths, double down on them, and then kind of move in from there. Um, the next thing I would say is figure out what's making real money. So all of these different businesses, right? I mentioned like consulting, uh, Etsy, Shopify, whatever it is, um, figure out what your strength is and then what inside of that sector is actually making good money. There's so many things online, right? Like that make money, but what makes really good money? And what I mean by that is what makes a full-time income? Because ultimately, if you're watching this video, 
and you're kind of taking in this knowledge, I, I would hope that you're thinking of this from the perspective of how can you make a full-time income and then some um, from online business, right? So I run a recruiting agency. It makes me absolutely my full-time income and then some, and I plan on scaling it, you know, widely and, and largely to the point where it makes me tons more money, right? So you should be looking at this from the perspective of how can this make me a full-time income? Whatever job you have or had, um, whatever salary that is, just equate that to what you need to make in an online business and be like, how can I make that figure right there? And as long as you can do that, you're solid, you're golden, you're good. Um, so figure out what's making money and figure out what's sustainable. Um, figure out what you can do long term, right? So if it's consulting, right, and you get a ton of clients, um, you know, maybe you want to start going on vacation and stuff and you're going to get tied down by consulting for all of these different clients and doing video chats or whatever, or, you know, consulting calls all the time. And you need to be able to mix up your schedule and make sure that you can kind of like sustain that, right? Um, if you start a Shopify store, you know, make sure that there's somebody to fulfill your orders all the time if you take a week off or do something right you might need an assistant I don't know figure it out make sure you get into something that's sustainable that you can actually you know keep going if you have an off day or an off week or you take a month off and you travel or do whatever because that's kind of some of the goal <clears throat> when starting an online business traveling and stuff like that spending time with the family relaxing that's like you know the pathway of of this new era in online business make a ton of money online have a ton of freedom that's the type of you know deal that we're looking at right here so um how did I land in the recruiting agency business, right? So what was my pathway? How did I do it? Well, I did the same exact audit that I just laid out, right? I figured out what my strengths were, um, which are, you know, basically sales, communication, uh, a lot of business savvy. I've done a bunch of the things that I mentioned before, like was on eBay selling stuff, was on Amazon selling stuff. I was doing a bunch of Craigslist flipping and stuff like that. Um, I had gotten some business licenses before to start businesses and things like that. So I had a lot of business acumen and things like that. And so um, I was strong on those levels, especially the sales and communication, because I had nine to fives in those areas. And so I built up on those strengths and used those for sure. Um, so my skill set was there. So I had a lot of that and organization and whatnot. And then as, uh, on, on top of that, um, I figured out that recruiting makes money, right? So as soon as I started recruiting and set up my agency, I was making money, like almost like that. So it really picked up for me. So for me, that's where I landed and that's where I doubled down and took all my strengths and put it all into recruiting and my recruiting agency just took off because everything aligned, right? So when you do that whole like audit of like, what's gonna be good for you, what are you strong at, what's making you money, what's sustainable, when everything matches on all of those levels, there's like a 99% chance that everything's gonna be good for you to actually make money if you put in the effort and if you actually put your whole self into it, right? There has to be that element of like commitment, you know? You can't just set up a Shopify store and say, uh, let this thing do itself, right? No, you're gonna have to calibrate your Facebook ads and look at what's selling and check out trends all the time and add new products or niche down or whatever and all that stuff. And it's the same thing in recruiting, right? You know, it's very hands-on. Like I've gotta put a lot of work into um, working with clients and candidates and being delegate with each part of the business to make sure everything runs really, really smooth. Um, and if I don't, I kind of get screwed, right? So um, I have to be on top of it. So at the end of the day, I would just say, you know, you have to do an analysis. You have to do like a self analysis, an analysis of what the business field looks like out there. Um, do some research, you know. Um, you know, I know a lot of you guys that watch this video are probably in recruiting because that's a lot of the audience of this channel. But if you're just looking at things from a wide range, right? I'm not here to convince you to jump right into a recruiting agency. I think it's a really good, awesome business. You have to be the right kind of person to do it. Um, and we might do another video on that separately. Um, but basically, I would say that like do an analysis like don't follow your passion that's number one like like throw that out the door I did a whole video on that following your passion is just complete BS like don't don't do that okay um, you can follow your passion by doing some volunteerism uh, you know on the side but following your passion like in the workplace it, it's not like a thing just forget it so um, the second thing I would say <laughs> is that um, just do what you're good at, like double down on your strengths, right? You know, that's part of the analysis, right? And then uh, the third thing is, you know, do what makes money. Like if you're making money, that's good. Just rinse and repeat, keep doing that. You'll make more money. You'll stack a pile of cash, right? Um, and then do what's easy for you. Like as long as it's easy and it flows and it doesn't feel like work, 
then it's good. That's really, really good. When something doesn't feel like work and you're making money doing it, you are way better off than the person that's making the same amount of money that's stuck up in a cubicle in an office somewhere. So that's kind of how the, I look at it. That's how I've looked at it since I've started my recruiting agency, since I left that cubicle up in an office building and I had a dress code and I couldn't wear a hat and a t-shirt and shorts and whatever. Um, so that's my deal, right? So. That's kind of like what my vision is of starting a recruiting agency compared to you know all of the online business opportunities that are out there for 2019. So take a good look at everything that's possible for you. There's tons of things out there, um, and I think that you know if you're watching this channel, you're probably a motivated person that's really really into the idea of getting into online business. So I, I really appreciate you checking my channel out to talk about recruiting and learn about you know starting your own recruiting agency, which I think is awesome. And if you're into it and you think that you're very strong on these skills and things like that, follow that and go through with it because a lot of the content I'm gonna be putting right here on how to follow through and get started with that. If it's something else, follow that and get into that. Um, and hopefully I can add some value still just talking about business in general. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got today for Friday. I hope you're gonna have an awesome weekend. I hope you had an awesome week. Um, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button right now. It'll definitely be a value add for you. And I appreciate you guys checking out my channel again. Take care.